Morning guys and great to have you back. In our last lesson, we saw how we could create lists, access list items, and then create list methods, and then use those list methods. We also saw how we could sort. In case you are new to lists, you can check out this tutorial on the beginner lists. In this tutorial, what we're going to do is to work with list slicing. Basically, how we can pick out specific elements within a range in a list. Now, all this is going to be important when we begin, and let's start using uh, creating practical examples. So I'll just go ahead and quickly create a new file. I'll call that 09 underscore lists underscore slicing. And I'll press the return key just to have that. And let's hide this section here. And I'll just add a simple title using lists. Now, if you actually see what I did here, I did not save this as a Python file. So I could just go to save as. And right here, I'm going to see this dot py. And I don't want to have that in here. So let's go back to our code folder. Let's go to our tests. Let me just save it here. And let's see where it actually uh, saved this. So we have this here. What we can do is to just, uh, yeah, I think it's great. It's good. So we can actually leave it right here. So just don't forget to use .py because I forgot to use .py or else we'll not be working with a Python file. So first, let's create a list of items. So I'm just going to say items equals, and I'll populate this list using some uh, strings and I'll just use strings for the entire list. So I'm say apple and let's make this a bit bigger and I'll say cat, a ship, comma. You can actually play around with this and change this to any uh, item you want. Let's think about matches, I'm gonna type person, and I'll type chill and fun. All right, so that's our list. So I'll save that. That's our list. I'll, cl I'll close our readme file. So the first thing we want to do is to actually slice this list. So the way we're going to do this, I'll just create another uh, variable to hold a reference. So I'm just going to call this slice and it's going to be equal to, I'll just say slice one. And this is going to be equal to our items. And what I basically want to do is to get the uh, from two to range four. So let's save this and let's print out the results. So let's say print. And within our print statement, I'll just say first slice. And I'm going to be using a variety of uh, print uh, styles here so we can actually get familiar with the uh, string method. So the first thing I'll do is to uh, print and I'll just say uh, slice like so and I'll try to concatenate that. So I'll call that slice one. So let's try to print slice one. So if I save that and run it, I'm pressing control F5 to run that. So we're going to get an error here. It says it cannot concatenate a string, can only concatenate string, not list. So basically we have a list and we're trying to change or concatenate to a, uh, a string to list. So what we'll do is to convert this to a string by using our string method like so. And we'll add another closing parentheses so we can close that. Uh, let's just see what we've done here. So we'll add this, let's change this here. We have str. And then we'll just concatenate the entire thing from here. All right, so I think uh, this is the better way to do it. So basically, we're concatenating the string method and then concatenating that, converting to string and concatenating that. So let's save this and press Ctrl and F5. And let's see what we have here. So if we look at our result, we have ship and matches. So what we're doing is starting from the first index. So this is 0, 1, and this is 2. So this is the third element. Remember, lists are 0 index in memory. And then to the fourth element. So this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. It's not going to include the last element. So basically, we're starting from the third element to the fourth element, exclusive of the last element. Again, if this is 4, this is 0, 1, 2, 3. So it's not going to... Uh, 
four rather. So it's not going to include the fourth element. It will actually stop here. Zero, one, two, three, four. So it will not include this one. It will include matches. That's why we have our first slice. We have ship and we have matches. So uh, let's keep on uh, working with these examples. So the next one I'll create is our slice two. So I'm just going to say slice two is going to be equal to items because items is our list. And this time around, let's try slicing from the fourth element. So we can do that by using four and then assigning this column. Let's go ahead and print this out and see what the result is going to be. But for explanation, it's going to start from the zero, one, two, three, from this element down to the last element. So we should expect person chill and fun. Are we going to expect that? Let's go ahead and print it and see. So next I'm going to say print and I'll use our F string here. So I'll say F this and I'll say slice. Slice two. And for our slice two, let's uh, let's try, uh, let's use our format specifiers like so. So for our slice two, in our slice two, what I'm going to do is to use a column and then use the format symbol and S and just right out here, I'll just bring out our slice two. So I'll use the format symbol and I'll say slice two, like so. Let's save this and let's run our program again and see what we get. So we get person, chill and fun. So the fourth element, zero, one, two, three, four. It starts from the fourth element and then moves on to the last element. So basically we're truncating it. We're telling Python to pick the fourth element and then move down to the last element. So it's going to be inclusive of the fourth element. So let's go ahead and move on and see more uh, examples. So let's create our slice three, a variable called slice three to hold and reference to our list items and this time around let's try slicing from the last element so if i want to get the last element instead of um, slicing with the index and starting from zero one two three four five six we can start from the back using a negative value so if i say minus one this is going to pick the last element and it's basically counting from reverse so uh, let's go ahead and see that uh, right here so if we print out this let's say print oops if i print this out and i say slice three so for our slice three let's see the style we use i'll just use the uh, format specifier so i'll create an empty uh, data to hold our variable to hold our results and i'll say dot format like so and within the function of our dot format we'll pass in the slice three and in case you want to learn how to use and work with the format specifiers check out the link i have a full tutorial on format specifiers where we go through a lot of examples on print statements and how you can format your output so uh yes so now let's just go ahead and quickly look at that so we have our slice tree which is our text right here and it's going to replace the results in this location so that's how we use the uh, second style of the format uh, specifier so uh, let's go ahead and see that. So let's save and let's do control F5 and run that. And we can see slice three returns fun. So we're actually slicing from the last element. So let's go ahead and see another example. So if I say slice four equals items and let's try to do something else. Let's try to slice from the back using negative slicing, but between elements as well. Let's try minus three to minus one now minus one is the largest element right because minus one is larger than minus three so this is minus uh, like that minus one minus two minus three minus four that's how it's actually counting so let's print out the results and see what we get so here i'm going to say print and i'll say slice four so for our slice four let's use the same style for our format uh, specifier or let's just print out uh, let's use the f string because uh, that's my personal favorite so for our slice four and then we'll pass in the results here so i'm just going to say slice four like so 
save that. And we can actually make, uh, the reason why we like using F strings is to make this much more uh, readable. So you can add text information into the, uh, uh, that. So let's, uh, we can add that. So let's say slides four, and then we can pass in any information we want in between. This is going to read as a string as well. So let's say reverse slices from the negative third to first item to uh, negative first item. Let's save that and run it. So it says slice four, reverse slices from negative third to negative first item, and we have person and chill, right? So let's see. So we have from negative three, so we have minus one, minus two, minus three, person and chill, and does it include the last element? Let's just check that out. So good, so it does not include that because we're within a boundary. So it only picked person and chill and excluded the first element. So that's one thing we need to uh, notice about slicing. If it's the first element, it will pick the first element, but once you're at the last element, it will ignore that element. So let's quickly jump to slice five. So let's uh, just click here. Oops. All right, so I'll do a slice five. And this is going to be equal to items. And for slice five, let's do negative four to, uh, to negative one. And what happens, okay, we've actually seen an example like this. So what happens when we flip this? Let's try doing negative one to negative four. Basically, what we're doing is we're instead of starting from this side, we want to truncate from this side back to this side. So let's see what that output is going to be. So let's see, print. And let's just print out uh, slice five like so without any comments. It's also a method of printing, but it doesn't really add any additional information. So let's see, function and F5. So let's run this. Sorry, I think I'm having a Visual Studio is a bit, a bit uh, kind of like laggy. So I'm going to pause the video and then, oh, all right, good. So we don't need to pause it. It's actually back. I think it's because of my uh, battery. So we actually have a, an empty list, right? We have an empty list where we try slicing from a value that is difficult for uh, Python to interpret. So that's why if we started from a negative uh, three, this is going to pick here and reverse if we are negative three to one, but now we're saying we're slicing from negative one to negative uh, four, right? So that's why we're getting that uh, empty uh, value. So if we actually begin slicing from the, uh, we try doing four here from the fourth item down, let's see what happens when we say uh, slice equals items. And then we actually start from this to four. So what does this actually mean, right? So here we're truncating from the fourth item to the last. Here we're, in, we're ignoring any item that is before the fourth element. So let's go ahead and quickly print. Let's print, uh, let's use an F string and let's see slice, slice six. So we know which slice we're working with and we'll pass this like so, and then we'll say slice six in the parentheses. Okay, I didn't call that slice six. I'll just call that slice six now, so we wouldn't have problems. So I'll save that and I'll run this program. So we actually see we start from apple, cat, ship, and matches. So let's go ahead and see that again for slice six. So we actually starting the first four elements. So apple, cat, ship, and uh, matches. So that's zero, one, two, three. It's going to ignore the fourth element. And here, let's look at our slice two. So I'll just, uh, let's maximize this. 
and I'll just clear the screen and let's quickly run our program again. So for our slice, uh, what slice was it? Let me just quickly look at that. So our slice two, we're comparing slice two. We have person, chill, and fun. But we have slice six, we have apple, cat, ship, and matches. So slice two is going to truncate from the fourth element down to the last element. And then slice six is going to start from the first element to the fourth indexed element. So that's a quick wrap up on um, slicing using strings. There are actually definitely much more ways we can actually slice using strings. And don't forget to read the MD files, the readme files in the project to get a more complete and comprehensive understanding. Thank you very much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next lesson.